Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into what makes you so sexy. And we have three piles today. Pile one, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. And just want to say thank you to anybody and everybody who has been donating to my channel. And if you'd like to do that, you can find my Cash App, PayPal, or Amazon wish list in the description box below or hit that little super thanks button. Anybody who's been liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all those things really help me out. Truly appreciate you guys and it makes a very big impact in my life and on my purpose. So thank you for that. And let's get started with Pile One. Also, a shout out to our guides. Thank you to them for guiding this message. So, what makes you so sexy? It's okay if you hurt for them, but they need this. What are you thinking? A thousand miles away, always. Try living with it. Follow me, Uncle Cracker. You have no problem moving away from situations if you feel like it's for your highest good. You could be somebody who plays music as well. And you may have some jewelry that you wear that people find to be very sexy on you. Like if you wear a necklace and it sits like right between your breasts and your shirt line goes just below that, there might actually be people who find that extremely sexy too about you. You have a lot of empathy, but you do not allow that, you don't allow other people's burdens to become your problem. You know that everybody needs to go through what they need to go through. You could also be somebody who spends a lot of time thinking as well. People may question a lot what you have going on inside that mind of yours because that mind is always working so quickly. And you don't necessarily say everything that you think of. You may keep a lot of what you think of to yourself. And you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna grab a couple of these charms as well. been a little bit since I've used these ones. Let's see. What else makes you so sexy? Your lips are definitely something that people find to be extremely sexy. You are very kissable. <clears throat> you hear things others miss as well. You may really love the ocean too. You're very deep. Although some people might think that you're shallow upon first glance, you may be somebody who is very beautiful in your looks or you just look very amazing. So people may actually misjudge you when they first see you and then they find out very different. Handmade, you could be somebody who makes a lot of handmade things. You could be somebody who likes to build things, craft things. Something to do with working with your hands could be very sexy about you as well. And the way that you're able to regenerate in situations, which is other, another reason why you know that everybody's going through their own things and they need to be going through them, is because you've been through a lot of your own things as well, but you're somebody who's able to bounce back. Last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back. By tonight I count stacks gazelle and the lion the nine of pentacles the ten of swords and the queen of pentacles wow the ten of swords and the queen of pentacles came out in my last reading too about what's going on in this connection some of you might have actually watched that one let me know in the comments below if you did so what makes you so sexy is you are fiery and bold you are a leader you are strong you are courageous and you are somebody who handles things with grace and integrity you tend to take the high road you're very patient and accepting of others as well you're very forgiving 
And like I said before, last night I took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Um, you have been betrayed a lot by a lot of people. And all of these betrayals or all of these harsh endings, the lies, the backstabbing, anything like that that you have gone through has only made you a better person. You have leveled up because of that. I don't get bitter. I just get better. Um, I don't get bitter. Good song too. I leave it up to karma. You're very sexy because you learn, you grow, you find wisdom in everything around you. And it doesn't matter if somebody tried to burn you down and bag the ashes, you would still rise back up the next day like nothing ever happened. You are good on your own. You don't need anybody else to um, survive. You have a lot of self-respect, a lot of self-worth, a lot of self-value. You have very good boundaries. You're very honest, very communicative as well solid, loyal, committed. You're very strong, abundant, fertile. You may like to wear a lot of things that really hug the curves of your body and accentuate your curves as well. And people really find that to be extremely sexy too. You might be somebody who um, dresses very different depending on the time or the occasion. And you may really love fires too. You could really enjoy being around a nice fire. You're very abundant too. You are somebody that um, is very supportive, nurturing, caring. I feel like you help others to realize their full potential and to grow into it. And you definitely know your own value and your own worth. You know um, how amazing you are. You may sing very well, too, for a lot of you that chose this pile. Your singing voice could be something that's very sexy to people. The way that you carry things or the way that you carry yourself. The way that you are always looking forward to what's coming regardless of what has happened. You have a lot of gratitude inside of you. Your hair could definitely be something as well that people find to be extremely sexy. People may really love to run their hands through their through your hair. You might actually do your hair in many different styles regularly too. And this could be something that people find to be extremely sexy about you. Your work with plants or animals or nature could be something that people find to be extremely sexy about you. And you're like a beautiful flower, I just heard. You may smell very good too. People may really love the smell of you. Whatever perfume or cologne you wear. Some of you could actually wear a lot more natural based perfumes or colognes that enhance your own smell and add to it instead of covering it with chemicals. I don't know. Um, what is also sexy about you is you don't discriminate against people based on color or religion or cultural background or um, things like that. You're very accepting and loving of people from all walks of life. So that's what I have for pile one. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonates, things like that. And thank you to anybody who has been supporting my channel and my work through liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, or donating, um, hitting that super thanks button or leaving something in my cash app, PayPal, or Amazon wish list. Thank you guys for that. I really appreciate you. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. What makes you so sexy? We have Capricorn. We have this guy. We have Cancer. And we have a Band-Aid. You're a very nurturing, caring, loving person. Um, you may be very loyal to those that you call family. You're somebody who's a bit of a caretaker. Um, the Nightingale, <laughs> Nightingale Syndrome is coming to mind. Um, people definitely fall in love with the amount of care that you put into people. You're a very hard worker, very solid, stable, strong. Um, some of you could have had uh, to deal with addiction issues or um, you may actually give people a safe, comfortable place while they are dealing with theirs. 
The style of your hair could be something that is very sexy about you. Some of you may have very short hair. You may actually kind of hide your face a bit or uh, it may not be super often that you make eye contact with people, but when you do, it's an extremely intense feeling. People find your eyes to be extremely sexy too. It's like they can see very deeply into you. You don't mask your eyes so much. And uh, they feel like you can see everything deep down inside of them as well. Every hurt and pain. I feel like you tend to people's hurts, tend to people people's pains. When they're sick, you're there to help them. You're sick. You're there to nurture them, to love them, to care for them. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, the Lovers. You have a lot of people that compete over your time, your attention, your energy. You have a lot of people that want to be with you. Um, you have a lot of people that want to be around you. You could have a lot of people bitter or jealous about that as well. Um, there's a lot of people who have their eyes on you that, that really would like something from you. I feel like people also find it extremely sexy when um, they are chosen by you. You choose freedom. You choose self. You choose not to tie yourself down to um, toxic situations. You are somebody who really enjoys your freedom. You enjoy being able to do what you want to do, go where you want to go, be around who you want to be around. And you give that same freedom to the people that you are in partnerships with as well. People also find it sexy how much they can learn from you. You inspire people and you draw out their passion. People may also find it extremely sexy when you're arguing with somebody and how passionate you get and how you usually tend to win those arguments. People find the amount of telepathic connection that comes along with you to be sexy. The fact that you can almost read their mind is something that they may find to be extremely sexy. You pick up on a lot of things that other people don't pick up on. Some of you might actually even be blind. There may be somebody here, anyway, that is blind. Which is odd. But, uh, you see more things than people who can see. You definitely pick up on the vibes of others around you. You know what's going on a lot of the times. Sometimes it might actually even irritate you when people are doing stupid crap to try to impress you or peacocking around you or something like that. People find your singing voice to be extremely sexy too. Um, the way you express yourself Sing, sweet nightingale, sing, sweet nightingale, oh, yeah. Um, you may bring people a lot of peace, a lot of calm. You may actually bring peace to arguments as well. You are definitely not going to let anybody tell you how to think or how to behave. One of a kind, for sure. You may want to look up the meaning and symbolism of flamingos. Handmade. Well-behaved women rarely make history. Mermaid tail, crown, feather. Luck. So, people also find you to be very sexy because it's like you're blessed, you're extremely lucky, you have a lot of protection. Um, if people try to fuck with you, generally they tend to find out very quickly that karma eats their ass up for it and spits them out. Um, you could be somebody who's very into natural things as well. And at the same time, you're somebody who's very stylish. You really enjoy adorning yourself with certain things. Queens don't. Ray Lynn, good song. Other girls might, but queens don't. You do not let people get away with a lot of the things that other people um, tend to let things go, you know? And a lot of that's because you know your own value, you know your own worth, and you're not going to put up with anything less than what you 
are looking for. You also are not going to do anything you don't want to do. You're not somebody who's looking to be seen as well behaved. You're not somebody who's looking to be praised for how good you are. Um, you are somebody that's going to do what you want to do. You're very bold, very daring, very passionate, and you're going to put yourself out there. You're going to speak your truth. You're going to speak your mind, and you're going to be who you want to be, and everybody else can eat a dick. That's a lot of the reason why people find you to be extremely sexy. They also find you to be extremely sexy as well. Something to do with your legs or the way that you swim. You can swim like a fish. I want to go where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. You dream about a bigger life than what you have, and you are taking the actions to create it, regardless of the people who tell you, uh, down where the, oh, wait, hold on. Down where it's wetter, that's where it's better. Take it from me, under the sea, under the sea. So there could actually be people who have told you to stay. Um, Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. I know you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. So there could actually be people that are worried about you that have told you um, to stay in your own lane or have told you that, you know, tried to stop you because of their worry or their fear for you. Or you have had people that have tried to stop you out of jealousy or bitterness. Or if you've had people that have tried to argue, argue with you and turn you away from what it is that you want to do. But you're going to do what you want to do regardless of what anybody has to think or say about it. With no fear. Because you know that the only way you're going to succeed at what you're wanting to create in your life is to be who you are. And you're not going to let anybody talk you out of that. So you're very free. And that's why people find you to be sexy. That's what I have for this pile. And if you guys enjoyed this, I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through, um, who these people are, all those kinds of things. And if you guys did enjoy this, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that little super thanks button. You can find my cash app, PayPal, and Amazon wish list in the description box below. And thank you so much to anybody and everybody who does any of those things. It really does make a big difference for me in my life. So thank you. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. What makes you so sexy? Ooh. What makes you so sexy? You can definitely have a good time. You know how to have a good time. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for the gifts. You give really good gifts. Someone you can trust. Healing heartbreak. People feel like they can trust you. Um, people feel like you heal heartbreak within them. He who wants the rose must respect the thorns. Every rose has its thorns. Every rose has its thorns. Just like every night has its dawn. Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorns. So. You may be somebody who knows how to say thank you as well. You are somebody that accepts a compliment. Um, you may give very good compliments too. I really feel like a lot of you may give very good gifts to people. You may give back to those who give to you as well. <clears throat> the shark and the lamb four of swords ace of pentacles and the king of swords you're very intelligent very articulate you communicate very effectively you may be very rational logical down to earth you have a tendency to remember things about people as well you're also somebody who is very um 
very dedicated and committed to your self-care and your self-love routine. You could have actually dealt with people in the past who really hurt you in some sort of way. And people find it sexy how you've been able to heal from that heartbreak. And how you've been able to accept new offers or something like that. People find it sexy that you have such a very strong prayer life or meditation life. Or that you are so calming and soothing. That you are somebody who brings peace. You're so innocent as well. People may find it very sexy that you have this innocence about you. And even though you have this innocence about you, you are not naive, stupid, or gullible. You definitely um, know what's up and you can actually strike if you need to. People find it very sexy how many offers you get or how many people focus on you. Um, people may really give you a lot of attention, like the undivided attention of a room when you're speaking. Everybody's attention may be on you. Because you're very intelligent, very articulate, very good at expressing yourself. Very good at telling stories for some of you as well. You make people rethink things that they may have made up their mind on already. You may actually make them rethink those things and really um, see things in a different way than they have before. You're very observant as well. You can smell signs of trouble. And I also feel like, like a predator can smell prey. You can kind of smell a predator. But you're somebody who believes that you're very protected and you are very protected. Your faith is something that people find to be extremely sexy. You are very faith filled. And you always plan things before you take action. Carefully, meticulously. Um, people could also be very, find you very sexy because you're able to enjoy a lot of things in moderation. And you don't have an issue with overindulging as much. Because you're very stable and very strong in yourself. You're very healed in yourself. You could also be somebody who dresses very professionally. People enjoy the way that you put together your styles. You could be somebody who has um, very light hair and people really love the light hair that you have. You think of others pretty regularly as well you may give a lot of gifts to people people also love that when they're talking to you they know that you're being honest that you're being forthright and people find it extremely sexy that you are very um loyal when it comes to who you're with When the wolves come out to play. There's a song that has that in it. So that's pretty much what I got for you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it. Whether or not it resonates. What you might have going on. Who these people could be. All that kind of stuff. And if you guys did enjoy this. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave a timestamp, a donation. You can find my Cash App, PayPal, and Amazon wish list in the description box below. Hit that little super thanks button. All those things really help me out. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you who does anything to support me in my work. And I really hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.